we are taking question and answer on audio formats and audio codecs so we'll be taking the interview questions normal questions and also the mcqs which of the following is not a valid file extension of an audio file now any file there will be some extension that is how you will in know and the computer will know system will know that what kind of file it is now this dot rar is the odd man out here why because mp3 is an audio file saying mp3 uh, mp3 mpeg1 audio layer 3 then we have a wave which is a waveform audio file format then we have the midi or mid is the extension because three characters are allowed so mus musical instrument digital interface all of these which i told you are valid audio files extension but dot rar is a file extension but that is used to compress the file now if you want to travel somewhere say outside or abroad you don't take whole house with you you take only uh, things which are important and then when you go there you open your box or the suitcase and take out things so that is called unzipping so zipping unzipping so this rar rochelle archive compressed file is a different format for compressing files and archiving them so rar file functions similarly uh, like this zip zip file would work so the R, rar file is basically containing files and directories that, that are very compressed that can be decompressed over some other place from which of the following words does codex is derived now the answer is c here coder decoder so this coder decoder from where it has come see codex is a combination of word uh, which is coming from encoder and decoder so now when you record an audio record a video then it will be raw that is it will be big bigger now if you want to send it somewhere you cannot send a huge file you have to transmit in a way so that the bandwidth or the usage of the channel should be low as possible similarly sending and keeping keeping the file the size should be less right so we have the encoder and decoder encode encoder does that work of uh, making it smaller compressing decoder does the reverse it decompresses the file which is the audio file so the whole idea is about Compressing, decompressing, encoding, decoding, and this encoding, decoding has given rise to this codec word. So the codec is derived from uh, coder, decoder. Okay. Sometimes you call it as encoder, decoder, and is coupled to perform the coding. So it can support both analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion. What type of coding is used for weakness of human ears? In audio compression now, every human ear has some limitation now if uh, we have to use this science in making the sound uh, the space of the sound keeping in the system less and transmitting it properly so this is a wave the point where I am keeping silence that can be truncated that can be let off but the point where I have spoken if or you have spoken that part cannot be taken out so the answer here is perpetual so before I, I go ahead there is a science you need to know that the human hearing power is only from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz please remember 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz all these different uh, you know organisms animals everything which is found has a, a listening limitation or a range of frequency that they can listen okay 20 megahertz cannot be uh, cannot be heard by any human being okay so this is the weakness of human ears now this weakness of human ear is used to minimize the file size because those sound which are not audible to human ear is present in the d waveform which is being recorded that can be taken off and that can only be done with the perpetual kind of let me tell you the coding techniques used in different audio standard this is called perpetual coding that is why we are calling perpetual uh, taking advantage of this perpetual weakness of human ears which is psychoacoustic phenomena 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz other sounds are truncated or they are deleted and then the sound is kept okay so this recording sound above 20 kilohertz and below 20 kilohertz okay which is not which is not uh, does not fall in the periphery of human hearing that can be taken off that is how compression decompression is done digital audio broadcasting is more immune to noise now digital audio you listen now there is super sound sample rate uh, bit rate very good quality audio which is available now we used to have the analog signals in digital the sound is quite clear and also immune to noise so the answer is a here but main thing is what see whenever you send an analog signal like uh, 
earlier we used to call on telephones we used to call and there will be lot of noise but now today digitally we talk there is less noise or no noise so legacy uh, instruments that we used to use for example if we if we talk about the modem at your house they take the analog signal convert into digital that is how your digital system or a computer or laptop knows what is coming from outside okay so this digital the noise can be removed and it can be made more and because now it is in your hand these are just the ones and zeros and let me tell you more thing that is in in digital audio broadcasting the multiple receptions are also eliminated why more we have omnidirectional antennas can be used so digital audio broadcasting therefore is more immune to noise as compared to the analog over how much distance can we transmit digital audio without loss of quality now this is a globe and we have known we know that we can send the sound clearly to the other end of the world even we are sending thousands of kilometers away from the uh, earth crust also that means we can transmit digital audio without loss of quality to an infinite distance because the resources we have the resources can be the disk space resources can be the channel of uh, communication the different uh, parts instrument everything which you combine so that is the only limitation otherwise digital audio can be sent without loss of quality to infinite distance you want this is a very tricky question that is how that is why this question is generally asked in interviews that oh so you 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 will answer in some limitation uh, say thousands say 100 kilometers no for example microwave 50 km is the range so you have to use a repeated repeater so that it goes beyond that distance every 50 kilometers you have to have a repeater because of the analog uh, quality of the low noise low voice what is the full form of pcm so pulse code modulation is the answer in order to understand this you have to know that we have a sine wave we always consider a sine wave as the analog signal now this analog signal contains lot of thing that is you govern this wave is governed by the wavelength by the frequency by various other factors but this analog is continuous now what we do is we take small small samples from this this is sampling then we quantize it that is for example 0 to 1 if something comes 0.6 will regard it as 1 if 0.4 will come we regard it as 0 this is called quantization so we have sampling then quantization and then we have different kinds of coding like huffman coding etc so this whole scenario of the wave pulse analog small samples are taken and finally after all the different uh, technologies which i just told you only one and zero is achieved or received is transformed basically so a signal is pulse code modulated to convert its analog information into binary sequence what are binary sequence one and zeros the output of the pcm will only be a binary sequence so an analog signal say for example it is governed by a sin omega t plus phi equation now you will have only one and zeros so this one and zeros make this analog convert to digital and now as i said the the amplitude the frequency the wavelength all which is with analog now you have ones and zeros the frequency of ones and zeros all these you know because we use in different coding as i just told you that huffman coding etc so this is sampling first part you have 10 mangoes just take two if they are okay you say oh all all these are okay so this process of converting the analog signal into digital is nothing but pulse code modulation and pulse code modulation is a very very important uh, technique and how is the procedure how, what are the steps being taken here now let's go one by one first thing this is the transmitter section so in the transmitter section of the pulse code modulator that is pcm there is a circuit it consists of first of all first of all as i said it sampling then we have your quantizer or quantizing is done then the encoding is done okay which are performed in where analog to digital converter se converter section low low pass filter which you see here is just to prevent the aliasing factor that is the low pass filter uh, filter prior to this sampling which you see here prevents an aliasing of the message signal sometimes when you take the picture when you are moving there are there is a glitch you know so that is called uh, uh, an aliasing so that aliasing you can um, anticipate here a kind of that thing that is being removed by this low pass filter now this is the transmitter section but how about the receiver section so the operation which receiver section does is the regeneration of the impaired signal that is signals which are impaired not well and then decoding and finally the reconstruction of the quantized pulse train that is the analog signal is just a wave or a pulse continuous but here the final thing at the receiver section will be a pulse train that is 
only you'll see one and zeros that is if you want to show it using a bar graph that is the thing what are the three audio codecs and audio formats now audio code audio format means extension or what technology does it use audio codec means compression technique so when you go to school you don't take you have 10 books you don't take 10 books you will take few books say math is there science is there social studies or social sciences are there you will take three books audio codec work is like that only that is you have a sound wave you have recorded some sound or you have some sound or some audio signals or audio content now you have to keep it in your disk it can be compressed that can be done losslessly it can be done in a loss c manner there can be uncompressed format also that is audio codec is nothing but compressing and decompressing so the three broad categories of audio formats are nothing but uncompressed that is that is the raw audio file lossless means it is being compressed in a lossless manner that is when it will be decompressed there will be no loss of quality lossy compressed means there will be a loss of quality when you uh, decompress it for example discrete cosine transform a fast fourier transform modified discrete cos fourier transform lpc all these are used so the compressing is done audio is kept or being transmitted then at the receiver section that is you will be you can also be a receiver when you open an mp3 file it is a it will be decompressed using the mp3 mpeg layer 3 codec i hope you got the idea codec is simply the decoder and decoder decoder is compressing decoder is decompressing so there are three audio codecs three audio formats one is lossy one is lossless and one is uncompressed lossy means that some of the parts are permanently taken off in order to reduce the size and then in lossless some of the part is taken off but it is it will not impair the quality so lossy audio format lossless audio format uncompressed is just no compression so let me tell you again lossy audio format means there is a permanent removal of some of the data item thus the quality will be reduced lossless there will be a compression but there will be no loss in the quality or the data only that part is done that is the pattern is recognized or psychoacoustic things will be applied here an uncompressed audio format no compression no audio codec is used and then when we use this file there will be some extension that will tell you or that will tell you tell the uh, music player or the audio or video player that these are the different uh, codecs are being used and that codec is used to compress and decompress and that is how the sound is played what is a standard audio format now this is also a very tricky question you will say lossy lossless or uncompressed you will say mp3 somebody can say flac aac uh, some some will say some other thing so you may be tempted to answer in mp3 wav or maybe in the three broad category which is lossy lossless and uncompressed but the answer is there are number of audio formats there are number of standard audio formats that are used widely mag use their own format windows use their own format there are different uh, like uh, moving M mpeg moving picture expert group they are doing something different xipl.org is doing something different so depending on the context the platform or the software we are using we have to encounter we will encounter different types of audio formats for example wave now if you want uh, uh, audio to have lesser size quality is not a problem mp3 if you want a file proper with a good quality wave has to be there so these three broad categories you can say come compressed lossless or lossy is wave lossless now wave file it can be lossy it can be lossless it can be uncompressed first let me tell you what is wave wave is a waveform audio file format this is an audio file format which ibm and microsoft soft they developed together okay there are two things two companies ibm and microsoft they made it together so the question is whether it is lossless or uncompressed what do you what do you think it is lossless lossless and uncompressed so this is the most widely used lossless and uncompressed please remember audio format and you know that there is a there is a hearing capacity of human being 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so below 20 hertz and beyond 20 kilohertz we cannot listen so those things are being re removed or there is a pattern if there is a pattern in the sound or there is a silence that silence can be removed that pattern can be combined in a compressed manner so this is what we call as a lossless kind of codec so this coder decoder wave is a lossless and uncompressed audio format and since these are both so wave has give you a balance between the size and the quality the size of the file and the quality also is not lost it is not a lossy one is wave or flac better which one is better see let us understand wave and flac for a bit 
Wave is waveform audio file format. IBM and Microsoft they developed it together, and this is now a de facto standard of or audio format for the Windows operating system. So this is the most widely used lossless and uncompressed audio format by Microsoft Windows devices and CDs we used to hear. Remember the standard encoding format, the codec here was. CD for CDs were wave till now also wave is the giving a very good quality what about F flac flac is lossless and uncompressed but flac which is free lossless audio codec this is an audio format that is providing a very good sound resolution sound quality there will be no audible quality loss in a file but the check and balance is half of the size of wave that is if you have a wave file or AIFF file, then this audio inter interchange format, right? So, if you take any of these file, the wave file, half of that will be a FLAC file. So, same quality, same size, uh, same quality, same uh, resolution, good resolution and good size. So, in terms of audio quality, the difference is, difference is not that much, okay? The, the biggest factor is FLAC files are half that size of WAV files. Since WAV is uncompressed, you will need space, a very good amount of storage space to accommodate all of your file. This is the difference between WAV and FLAC. So, you can say that FLAC is better than WAV. In terms of size, other things remains the same. How many bits is good audio? Now, there are various questions that can be generated from this question. What is sample depth? What is sample rate? What is bit rate? So, all these govern and indicate an audio signal or an audio file. Okay. Now, the way you have recorded, how much bit rate you have used, what is the sample depth, what is the resolution, what is the bit rate? All these are important because here you see 16.7 million colors. The picture is good. While for 16 colors, that is only 2 to the power 16 bit, the image is not that good. If you see Ultra HD and you see just a VGA, there will be a difference. So sample depth, sample size or sample precision is the LOD, level of detail or quality of each sample. So a uh, sound is being recorded. What was the sample depth? What was the bit rate? What, how many bits were there? So sample depth is just as equal to as similar to the image quality. That is an 8 bit 2 to the power 8, 256. 2 to the power 16, it is a higher number. Okay. So that 2 to the power 16 will have give you more content, more quality. Same here, more bits in a good audio, in a, bit, in a audio makes it a good audio. So the for high quality audio, you have to have a high bit depth. So for a consumer or an end consumer like you and me, the bit depth of 16 is perfectly alright, it's acceptable. But on the other hand, if you are a sound recordist, if you are doing something like professionally recording, mixing, mastering, professional video editing you are doing, so 24 bits is a must. A bit depth of 24 bits is better. So the whole idea is number of bits are more, the audio will be good. So this is all about this discussion. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.